then now we've got the joints in, our next stage is to start sticking some controllers around the outside and locating them on the joints. Um, one of the things I want to do is to be able to isolate the geometry here. So I'm going to go over here so with him selected, go to the end icon and the layer editor and click on that and go. Body Geo. So I now can hide that. Ooh, let's get that, shift that, and then right click here and go add selected objects. There we go. So we can hide the eyes at the same time. Okay, so that's a good thing. Um, and we need to know. What are we controlling and how are we controlling it? So everything will go back to a top controller. Um, so we need that, and then we need some feet, knees, pelvis, and hips, a spine controller, clavicle controllers, shoulder, elbow. Depends on whether or not you're going to do an IK arm or an FK arm. But I mean, all the difference is, is the difference between a elbow target or an elbow control so you either rotate at the elbow or you move it at the wrist and then point the elbow in a specific direction it's roughly the same amount of um, controllers it's just a slightly different way of setting it up depending on what your animator likes really okay having done that let's start making controllers controllers are generally nerves curves um, because they don't render and they're very cheap data wise um, and they're quite clear and you can make them look quite clear in the interface so your animators can grab hold of them and, and pull your character around uh, so top controllers need to look distinctive go on the top view now I quite like making these freehand lots of people kind of go oh no snap to grid That's not, if you want to snap to grid it's X so um, I'm going to go create Curve tools. I'm going to use an EP curve tool, which is an endpoint curve tool. Open the dialog box and go on its basic settings. If you make a curve, you'll end, end up with a curve like that, which you don't really want in this this situation. So I'm going to go one linear and chord length, and then I'm going to make something that's distinctive. So I'm going to make four points around the square. to look funkily hand drawn and luckily <laughs> I can go back and edit it afterwards and I can go oh my god that looks like an eyesore I can't believe you've done that oh my god so top controllers often look a little bit like this hand drawing right so V is snapped to point so that will snap the end bit oh look at that what an eyesore and a control vertex so that's funky. Now the thing with that is it's dark blue and it doesn't see and look its axis is over there, it's in the centre of the world. So if I go probably I can go centre pivot, that sticks the pivot in the middle, which is good. Um and then the other things I want it to display more brightly, so I'm gonna to go to attribute editor and um, object display, drawing overrides, enable overrides, where it says index go to RGB and go make me yellow so your colouring thing is generally if it's down the middle of the body make it a colour if it's on the left side make it colour and if it's on the right side make it a different colour and so you can say left to right is de distinct so if I come here and if I hit the X key I can snap that to the middle of the world then we can go is that in the right place I don't think that's too bad actually as a top controller goes so now he's there, now you go to the channel box and ooh, look at this, you've got values. There you go, three transforms. So it belongs there, it's in the middle. It's all good. Something like that, that's fine. Um, so we're now going to make a foot control. Oh, actually, where it says curve one. Top, C, T, R, L, there we go, top control. And if you've bit, got different characters in and they're all called that you can always go 
bugged control. And so we know exactly what it is. Right. Okay, let's go up the body. I'm going to go up the body. I'm going to start at the bottom and go up the body. Right, so his face controls are going to have a hood, but I'm going to make those separately. So it's just, just the controls for the joints. So I'm going to go create herbs primitives circle. And so this is going to be left foot C T R L. Right, left foot control. Uh, we want to make it look a little bit foot shaped. Now his his foot is pretty oval, isn't it? It's not, it's not massively significant. I'm going to F here. Let's centre that down the middle of the foot there. And I can kind of go R. Initially, I could do that. And normally, I kind of go, oh, I'll make it look left footish. Um, but I didn't put a toe. In any particular direction, so it can just look like that. Really, if I get that one shift, that one shift, that one, I'm going to do W. Those up there, and there, and that would make it look a little more left foot ish, even though left foot doesn't look particularly left. I'm going to bit of clearance because we're going to have a toe control and a heel control inside this. And that look, I don't look too bad, does it? I'll be right back. Okay, um, and so this one, if we go to its attribute editor and go drawing overrides, enable overrides, RGB. And I'm going to make this side of the body blue. There we go. Cool. So, I need a toe control and I need a heel control. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this guy. And I'm going to go show, isolate, select, view selected. I'm going to control D, R. And so I've got that one. Go control vertex. So this is going to be the, the toe control. So I'm going to get those three at the back there. I'm going to scale the plan. I'm going to move them forward until they're in line with those two. And come about halfway up. That one a little bit further up. How's that look? So that left foot control one becomes left. Toe. Control. Cool. And then I'm going to control D. Go R. And this one comes in again. And go control vertex. Get these three over here. And scale them flat. Move them down to here. And go R. I'm going to scale them in a bit. Boom. Too shabby. So that one is left heel. Control. Um, I don't think there's a search and replace feature for objects. It's just joints. So if I get these three, I'm gonna go Control G and group them. So that puts that in the middle there. And I'm gonna go Control D. So I'll get Control Group Two. And then I'm going to put a minus in the scale, x scale, minus. Oh, there we go. Cool. So that one, I'm going to get edit, ungroup. I mean, literally, that was just so I could copy and mirror, mirror the object. And then get that one, and go edit, ungroup. And it's important to ungroup. Um, 
because you can end up with some weird transform. You get that minus transform in that group, and that will mess around with you for later. So these guys become red. Okay. Because they're on the other side of the body. Dump. There we go. Cool. And then instead of being left, toe control becomes right. Toe control, and let's ditch the one. Right. Control control. Again, important for when you're selecting from menu. So now, now we've done that, we can go show I select, select, view selected, and woo, and then we've got those heel controls and everything there. Cool. This guy I'm going to reuse, so I'm going to go control D, go R, make him a lot smaller, something like that. Go to his channel box, I'm going to rotate him around the X90. There we go, stand it up, right, nice. I know that says bug top control one, but. So I'm just going to hide out the geometry, I'm going to W to move, and then I'm going to use the V key, V is snap to point, and on the joint, the point that you snap to is the axis, which is lovely. If I go Control D, I've got a second one, and I can go V and snap to that joint. Right, okay, so this is left. Target. I'm always T G T G T target. Yeah, T G T. And so this one is right. Me. T G T. Okay. Cool. So this one obviously needs to be blue. Obviously. Okay, and so both of them need to be targets, so they need to be in front of the body. Always a good thing to be further forward than the toes, because if your knee controller is inside your toes, and occasionally if you lift your toe up so with your foot control and your target is following your foot control, it pushes the knee and target back and flips your knees backwards, so you need to have them considerably further forward. So I'm going to bring them over there. And that would be good. Okay, cool. And so while we're at this, we might be worthwhile noting that these have got values in them. They don't want values when we start rigging. So we could just as we go start value, uh, taking those values out by freeze transforming and delete history because we, we don't need to be carrying any history around. So freeze transforms, freeze transforms. And it is really important that you freeze transform because if you if you have anything in there and another controller is following it, anything can be passed down the hierarchy of the controllers, and so you end up with very very messy animation. So let's do check those. So zeroing those out is important. Zeroing that out is important, especially the scales. The scales can really mess things up. Right. Okay. So they are in place, and if you kind of go, oh, I need to put them back to where he starts, and you put value, you put zeros in them with the cha channels, it just goes back to where it starts from, which is lovely. Okay, so that is our knee targets. Moving swiftly up the body. Um, I'm going to do, do a hips thing. Um, you, it, you know, it can look like anything, really, but this is... Um, so this is not the pelvis control, this is the waist control. And the important thing about the waist control is it's the thing that controls the whole top half of the body, so it needs to be moderately significant. So we can go create curve tools, uh, EP curve tool again. We should have the same settings as before. So if I go, what am I gonna do? If I go something, and actually that, so V, 
finish that. So that's not even that. Uh, attribute editor, enable overrides. Yellow, there we go. And then we'll just see how big or bad it is. Right. I'm just going to go center pivot. There we go. Nice. And then this one wants to go. It's on the root joint. So. Snap it to the rejoin there. However, um, that puts it all the way back there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it forward like that. And then, while I've got that, I'm going to hit V, D, sorry, D, which allows me to move the pivot. And then I'm going to hit V and I'm going to snap it into the middle of the rejoin there. So, I'm going to rotate it. Make sure it is in the middle of the region, and then D, and then we're good. Okay, and then it should just sit around the waist there. So that's the waist controller. So let's so have it selected. So it's curve one. We go waist C T R. L. There we go. Cool waist control. That's not how you spell waist. That'll do for today. I don't know really. That'll do. Right, okay, pelvis. Do I want to make that slightly bigger? i fit the pelvis control inside it. Um, freeze transforms. Let's go create curve tool. Uh, no, no primitives. Circle, let's go with the circle. Okay, it's not big enough. Prime the body. Right, this is the pelvis control. So we're going to go V and snap it onto the pelvis. Right, bring the body back in and kind of go, I need it to be big enough R to scale, by the way. So I can do that and go while it's in there. Can bring it forward so I can be it now. As long as I can grab it, it's kind of there. Yeah, we can alter it by its um, CVs, its, its control build texts, you know, make it more wavy so it's just not a straight line from the side. But that should be okay. So we can go freeze transforms, woohoo, and delete my type. It's also yellow, so, well, it should be, it's not yellow, it should be yellow. So enable overlords, RGB, make it yellow. Okay, lovely. And so that's the waste control. If I get that and go control D, go W, move it up. I can borrow it again. Channel box, no, yeah, that. For that spine one, so V sticks it in there. Let's have a look size, might bring the body back in. Does it want to be different? That looks like a good fit. I'm, I'm good with that. And we can do that. So, freeze, freeze transforms. And so, no circle one there is Elvis C T R L, and this one, no circle two, is Spine One C T R L. Okay, cool. And on that note, Control D, duplicate it, bring it up, snap it onto that joint. Bring the body back in. Now that's a bit big. So we can go, oh, and bring it in a bit. See, that sits around it nicely. There we go. Uh, so that freeze transforms, it's in the right place. And that becomes spine two, control not side, spine one, control two. Right, that, okay, cool. The nice thing about duplicating those existing controls, they're already yellow, so I don't have to go back to the um, color thing. So I'm going to get that one and go Control D, duplicate it up, W, move it. And this becomes the neck control. But it needs a little bit of work. I'm going to scale it in sideways. And I'm going to mess with its control vertices. Down a bit and in a bit and down even more. 
That'll do. Cool. Lots of weird values in there, so freeze transforms. I did snap it to the next one. No, I didn't. I didn't even snap it to the next one. Right, okay. D and then V to snap the axis. It has to rotate around the joint itself, which is good. Okay, done that. D to fix it. This one, control D, becomes the head controller. Now, the head is considerably bigger. So we can go R. He's got horns. <laughs> this makes it a little bit more. Can I say control vertex? There we go. So let's get that one and go over here somewhere. Down. You can nice and clearly see it, can't you? That's, that'll do. Be something you can get your mitts on when you're trying to animate it. Oh, don't matter. There we go. Nice big yellow thing over the top there. So that geezer there is not spine control two. That one. It is neck control. On that one, oddly enough. Is head control. There we go, cool. And again, pivot points in a ridiculous place. So we'll go here and we'll go D to move it. It's going to come down all the way to here. We'll hold the V key and snap it to there. Hit return. Oh. We'll hit D to fix it, whichever. And then we'll go freeze transforms. Check this one. No values, no values, no values, no values. Good, okay, cool. Net control, head control down. So we're getting there, getting there. Right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a mixed bag here, just so you know the difference. Um, so this is just for you. Don't say that I never do anything for you. This arm, I'm gonna rig it FK, forward kinematic, so that means each bit down the chain follows the bit up the chain. And so you can have an FK arm, and this bit's going to be IK, because this bit is going to be the sword arm, sword arm. And so we're going to make that FK for waving swords around it. Um, so controllers. Um, let's start with the clavicle controls, because those are going to be the same. So I'm going to duplicate out this guy, mainly because he can't kind of like sits over like that quite nicely already. I'm going to go control D. Okay, I'm just going to wash him about a bit. I'm going to go R, something like that. And go there, something like that. And then I'm going to go D and then move his axis right down there. Okay, cool. No idea if this is going to work at all. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to go W, move it in, and I'm going to V, snap it on that joint, go to E, take it out of the way, bring the geometry in and kind of go, how does that look? See, I don't think that looks too shabby. Let's make him blue. Let's see what that looks like. Attribute editor. Blue, please. There we go. Um, yeah, you can tell, you can certainly see the difference. I mean, it's a bit messy at the moment because um, it's sitting against lots and lots of lines, so it's not distinctive. But I don't think that's too bad. Right, channel box though, freeze him. I'm gonna do this odd thing, I'm gonna go control G. So he's now grouped, it's only him. I'm going to the group selected. There you go, there's no control in there. Um, I'm gonna go control D. Duplicate it and then put the minus one. It's just 
there's a handy way of getting it on the other side. Uh, so that one goes edit and group. And this one goes edit and group. Uh, net control, that's that one. So that's left clavicle control. Okay, and then. Right, clavicle, CTR, control, okay, cool. Uh, again, values, values. So that one's good. This one, not so good. So we will raise transforms. And that one needs to be red. Ha ha. Rouge. Okay. We got them. Moving swiftly on. I'm just going to steal and duplicate these. So I'm going to get this one. Okay, okay. Control D, duplicate, and move it out. We rotate it up and go. Are you too big? And it's going to go yes. I want this free transform size. Good. Hold out that guy. And so if I go W, hold B, snap it onto that joint there, bring the body back in again. Okay, okay, it's the right colour. It's close enough to the right shape to make no difference. Freeze transforms, go, go. The guy is in place. This becomes left shoulder control. Left mm. shoulder control, and then we can go. That was me deleting the one at the end of the sound effect. Control D to duplicate the shoulder control. Can you guess what I'm doing here? Right, okay. V. I'm gonna snap that in place there. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, did freeze on. That one becomes left. Elbow control, mm -hmm. and it goes three transforms. It lives there now. Ooh, live here now. Control D to duplicate. That goes here. Gonna go V. Snap it onto that joint. That is the left wrist control. Oh joy! Oh joy! Three transforms. There we go, cool. That's nice. And so, um, what we're going to do here is uh, make some finger control. Um, let's give him pointy arrows. Pointy arrows. So, let's go create uh, curve tools. EP curve tool. So, you. You, 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 V, snap, and return, and then control vertex. Let's make you a little bit more like that. Tresely Gaunt, which is very nice. We'll know that a lot. Okay, that's much. Must be fairly neat. Obviously it's bigger, but that's because I've just made it that way. Right, okay. Object. Right, he's on this side, so he wants to be blue. Blue, 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 blue. Enable overrides. RGB. Blue, please. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's go send the pivot. Put it there. Um, I actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go D and I'm going to go snap to grid. I'm going to put that there. Uh, I've not done this in the right order, have I? Right, let's put the line ish there. Oh, Andy, control vertex. That one. I'm going to go V. Now I'm going to go X, snap to grid somewhere. Snapping to the grid there, cool. Um, and then I can go R, 
infinite mode. Cool. And then go D and then go X and we can snap the axis to the grid. So the vertex and the axis have been snapped to the same point in the grid. So D, there you go. Nice, so fixed. So his his axis point is right at the foot of the stairs or whatever it is that we're gonna do. Right. Okay. Um let's start with this then. I'm gonna get M in here. So really, shall we just start like snapping into place? He's gonna go on that knuckle. And he's gonna rotate up until it's very cool. Going on that joint there. I'm not gonna do anything fancy with this off the um, lesson. I'm not doing offset parent matrix with you lot. Um, R to M bigger and smaller than this place in this case. There. How is that? That is fine. E and nudge him out a bit. Just so you can see it. And although ideally when you're doing these things you want the axis of the rotation to go down the finger, I'm not doing that. You can do that some other time. Um, so what we're gonna do now is freeze transforms, I live here. Okay that's good. Um, and so curve one is left pin key C T R L. There we go, left pin key control. Woohoo! Um, so we're going to do that. Yeah, control D, W, move this one. I'm going to rotate it up a bit. Um, and I'm going to go V, oh, W, and then V. Snap him onto that joint, cool. And he goes, let's get this right now. This is left middle control. Middle. See to LRL1. Boop. There we go, cool. That's that. Don't forget, freeze transforms. Check him. This guy, control D. And go B to snap. Rotate him out a bit that way. I kind of feel the middle one's pretty big. Let's go, oh, let's bring him down a bit. Get that one, bring him down a bit. And freeze transforms. Freeze transforms is very nice. Right, okay then. Uh, so that's middle. This one isn't middle one, this one is index. Index, lovely, and that goes. Left index control, that one control. Oh, I'll show over the middle one. That's all. Control D. W. Move it, move it, move it, and then B. Snap it to there. E. Rotate it that way a little bit. That way a little bit. Transforms and that instead of being left middle, this one wants to be thumb control one. There we go, cool. And so that would be an FK kind of thingy thing. It is an FK thingy thing, set of controllers, FK set of controllers. I'm trying English, Andy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that one, shift that one, shift. That one I switched to Q. So just got all the controllers. No, no, no. There we go. I'm going to go Control G. I've done this before, I know. Control D, and then in the duplicate one, minus in the X. Minus in the X, and it's over there. Cool. And they should be all perfectly aligned because it's mirrored around the world and everything. However, we don't want all of them. But what we do need to do is ungroup that one. Edit, ungroup, and group two is edit, ungroup. Okay, cool. And so, all of these ones, to be fair, we don't need the shoulder controller and we don't need the elbow controller, we do need the wrist control, and we just need to make sure that these things are clean because we've got these values in there. So, we're going to freeze, in fact, we're going to get all of these. Freeze them. Just, just go back, check all 
Are you clean? Yes, you're clean. Okay, they're all clean. We just need to quickly rename them. That one is there. So that is the right. Press control. Now we'll take the one out. That one is the right. Thumb control. Frozen. We should have no values in one of them. Spine control one. What's that? that should... Yeah, spine one control, spine two control, neck control. And if we put the gizmo in, you can see it. Erg top control. We got all those. We're going to change those access points later. Knee target. Right. Okay. The other thing that we need to do here is we need an elbow target. So I'm going to duplicate this guy. And snap it to that elbow and push it back. So this is the elbow target for that IK. And then I'm gonna go freeze transforms and then this is the right. Do that again. What have I done? Yeah, there we go. To the right. Did that. Right. Good and it should be frozen. That's good. Okay, cool. So that's all our controllers in place, all named and all zeroed. Uh, no, it's not. Look, I'm not done any control. Let's have. Oh, let's have this guy. Control D. You see, if I will add extra joints in, I'm going to have to add extra controllers in. So that guy. V, snap to that joint there, bring back the geometry and kind of go, that's ludicrously large, so let's go R, and shrink it down until it just sits nicely over the ear there, that's good, cool, um, freeze transforms, let's rename it, that's the left, ear control, left ear control and I'm going to get the usual control G to group him, control D duplicate him, put a negative value in scale X, it appears on the other side, number one gets ungrouped, so edit, ungroup and group two goes edit, ungroup and here, control one, that needs to be frozen. Left ear control. Right. So, left ear control one becomes right ear control. Apply GHT, and take the one off the end. Right, okay. Uh, apart from these ones needing to be red, which should be fairly quick because they've already got their overwrite enabled. You should all be red because you're on the red side of the body. However, does that mean the right side of the body should be blue and the right side of the left side of the body should be red? I don't know, because I've done it the other way around. My rigging system does not follow contemporary politics. Right, there we go. Um, and if we tidy that up and show... It should look a little bit like... Um, uh, but, 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 but let's not look at the judge. So if 
if I go non, my favourite thing for showing is viewport and just have the stuff in that you want. So polygons are there, and then show the nerves, curves, not necessarily the CV, so the joints are hidden at the moment, then shading, we can go take white frame I shaded off, hit six. And that's kind of what your rig character should look like. And you can see that the controllers are nice and clear. And you should be able to get hold of all the bits that you want. Um, you're not going to see the joints when you're animating or anything. So this is pretty much what it'll look like. Um, I mean, you could change some of the colouring, maybe for the waist controller, because it sort of goes in with the pelvis controller, but they're doing slightly different things. So that is your joints in, and then your controllers in, and the controllers are dropped on the joints, located exactly on the rotation points of the joints, and then frozen in place. Um, and at the moment, they're all this big separate list, but as we attach the joints to the controllers and get the controllers running those joint systems, um, these things will become a hierarchy, and they'll become a hierarchy a, a little bit like the joints are a hierarchy, and then the two hierarchies get nipped together around the root control and the top control root joints and the top control so we'll deal with starting to put together the big in the next video see you then